This time on Try, I'll be making a fairy door. In our neighborhood, we have a lot of very large trees, and some of them have little recesses and caves that suggest there might be a fairy living inside. All they need is a door. So I took a crayon and scribbled around the outlines of one of those recesses to transfer to some paper. And then I cut it out and I'm going to make a cardboard prototype. I'm a really big fan of making things in cardboard first. It's cheap, easy to change, quick, and you can get a good sense of what the physical size is. So I moved that back to the tree to try it out and then I made a second more accurate form on cardboard to get a good sense of where that door is. Taking a piece of scrap plywood, I cut out the form and then marked out the door itself. And I made a kind of little window up top. I'm not really happy with the shape of it, but it was a good suggestion of what a fairy skylight might look like. So I cut that out and gave it a coat of neutral paint to match the bark and then a bright red door like any fairy would have if you have a door you need your name on the door so i found a piece of oak and i'm carving a label on the outside of it and unfortunately it was a little uneven because of the oak um, but i've sprayed it black and now i'm going to um, sand off the um, outside of the black with a temporary glue to a piece of plywood so I could put it on my big sander. And as you can see, the end result is a um, black recessed letters. Um, here I'm hammering in some copper brads on it. And then I found some old um, hinges which I'm um, marking up and setting the door with plenty of clearance. Um, and it worked pretty good. Uh, it opens and closes very well. I looked through my jump box to see if I could find a knob and I found an old kitchen knob sample that is kind of pretty and looks like something a fairy might use. And that attached in and um, I kind of like the result. It looks pretty cool. I made a little metal latch out of some scrap aluminum. I put that on an eye hook to um, keep it locked. And that's the final result. Um, finally, I added some um, decorative planking just using um, a marker um, to give the sense that this was made out of um, old pieces of board. So we install it. I go back to the tree and um, put it in. Uh, I had some weird side holes to mount it because there really wasn't anything to screw into directly behind it. I'm really not that happy with how it looks, but it works. And every hole, of course, will be a little different. This one says that at the base of this very large tree is a very special place. Come closer. Look at it. It's the home of a fairy. There's a secret door. If you open the door and look inside, you may find it. 